Step into the sepia-tinted world of television's golden era, where the glow of the screen cast a spellbinding allure, and stories unfolded with an irresistible charm. Among the timeless classics that graced the living rooms of eager viewers, the year 1957 saw the emergence of something truly iconic, Perry Mason. Can you still remember that first encounter with the black and white wonder, as its opening credits flickered to life and Raymond Burr's imposing presence commanded the screen? Perhaps it was the gripping courtroom drama that held you captive or the meticulously woven mysteries that teased your intellect. As you reminisce, let your mind wander through the corridors of memory, where the echoes of Perry's resonant voice and Della Street's unwavering loyalty still linger. But now, let's pull back the curtains and shed light on some lesser-known tidbits about the show that captured hearts across generations. Behind the scenes, did you know that Raymond Burr's commitment to his role was as unyielding as Perry's pursuit of justice? The camaraderie among the cast was a genuine reflection of the characters they portrayed, adding an extra layer of authenticity to each episode. And oh, those iconic courtroom scenes that left us holding our breaths at EUR, they were often filmed in one take, a testament to the actors' impeccable mastery of their craft. So, as we delve into the annals of television history, prepare to uncover more fascinating anecdotes that even the most ardent fans might not be privy to. The stage is set, the curtain is raised, and the spotlight turns to the enchanting world of Perry Mason. Get ready to immerse yourself in a tapestry of secrets, revelations, and behind-the-scenes whispers that will forever alter the way you perceive this beloved classic. And who knows, perhaps by the end, y'all be inspired to rewatch those unforgettable episodes, armed with a newfound perspective. In most episodes of the iconic 1957 TV series Perry Mason, the riveting courtroom showdowns were not the grand trials we might envision, but rather preliminary hearings. Surprisingly, the practical motive behind this creative decision was rooted in cost efficiency. By opting for preliminary hearings instead of full trials, the show sidestepped the expense of hiring a dozen extras to fill the roles of jurors. This budget-conscious strategy, sourced from IMDb, ingeniously trimmed production costs while maintaining the dramatic intensity the series is renowned for. Fred Steiner, the musical maestro behind the memorable composition Park Avenue Beat, had more in common with another beloved show than one might suspect. The same composer who crafted the Perry Mason theme also lent his talent to the theme of Rocky and his friends, an animated gem featuring the antics of Bullwinkle and Rocky from Frostbite Falls, Minnesota. This remarkable cross-genre connection, as discovered on INDB, illustrates Steiner's versatile musical prowess that echoed across different television realms. William Talman, the actor portraying the tenacious district attorney Hamilton Berger and Perry Mason, held a unique perspective on his character's courtroom battles against the titular defense attorney. Contrary to any personal animosity one might expect, Talman insisted that Berger's losses were not taken to heart. Instead, his character harbored an unwavering commitment to the pursuit of justice. As long as truth prevailed, the outcomes were satisfying to him. This fascinating tidbit from IMDb unveils a nuanced dimension to the show's dynamic, where personal rivalries took a backseat to the higher pursuit of righteousness. These insights shed light on the lesser-known intricacies that underpinned the enduring success of Perry Mason. From cost-saving measures that enhanced the series' financial viability to unexpected musical connections, and the noble perspective of an on-screen rival, the show's legacy continues to be enriched by these revelations. William Talman's Fallout with Perry Mason, a morality tale in the annals of classic TV drama, Perry Mason stands as an iconic series that captured the essence of legal battles. However, beneath the polished facade, a backstage saga unfolded, altering the trajectory of one actor's career. William Talman, renowned for his portrayal of the dogged prosecutor Hamilton Berger, found himself entangled in a real-life legal fracas that mirrored the show's courtroom dramas. After a Hollywood party he attended was raided by police officers, Talman faced accusations that clashed with his on-screen persona. Despite his vehement denials, the morality clause lurking in his contract cast a shadow over his future. Dismissed from the series, Talman's colleagues rallied to his defense, prompting network reconsideration. Although he was eventually rehired, the damage was done. The incident left an indelible stain on his acting prospects, relegating him to sparse roles in the aftermath. 
While Perry Mason thrived on scripted legal showdowns, the unscripted turmoil in William Talman's life added an unexpected layer of complexity, reminding us that the line between fiction and reality can be startlingly thin. Raymond Burr's transformation, the slimming of Perry Mason in 1957, television screens welcomed a legal luminary who would come to define the courtroom drama genre. Perry Mason, the iconic series, showcased the impeccable defense attorney's unwavering pursuit of justice. Yet, beneath the legal battles and gripping narratives, lies a lesser-known story of transformation that parallels the show's own evolution. When Raymond Burr was cast as the titular character, there was more to overcome than the intricacies of the cases he would unravel. Initially weighing 60 pounds above the envisioned portrayal, Burr faced a weighty predicament. Undeterred, he embarked on a determined journey, shedding the excess pounds through a rigorous crash diet. This metamorphosis not only reshaped his physique, but also secured his embodiment of Perry Mason's sharp intellect and tenacity. Burr's dedication to the role went beyond shedding weight. His portrayal of the astute attorney resonated with audiences, turning Perry Mason into a resounding success. Amidst its monochromatic palette, the show's gripping narratives and Burr's commanding presence captivated viewers. However, amidst the black and white tableau, a solitary brushstroke of color stands out. The episode titled Perry Mason, the case of the twice-told twist broke free from the monochrome norm. Filmed in color, this anomaly arrived during the show's final season, a departure from tradition that piqued curiosity. Remarkably, the episode's colorful spectacle remained unsyndicated for over two decades, making its mark as a hidden gem of television history. Perry Mason achieved its legacy not only through its compelling legal battles, but also through the dedication of Raymond Burr. His transformative journey from overweight to on-screen icon mirrored the show's evolution, carving a space in television history. As the credits rolled on each episode, it was evident that both Perry Mason and Raymond Burr were champions of transformation and justice. Perry Mason's puzzling phone number chronology in the enigmatic world of the 1957 TV series Perry Mason, where legal battles unfolded with clockwork precision, an unexpected mystery lay hidden in plain sight at EUR Perry Mason's ever-shifting office phone number. Within this riveting courtroom drama, keen-eyed viewers discovered a perplexing continuity conundrum that kept them dialing into the show's details. In the episodes The Case of the Bountiful Beauty and The Case of the Fanciful Frail, Mason's office phone number EUR Madison 51190AEU appeared on screen, etched into the fabric of his fictional world. However, the plot thickened in the case of the fan dancer's horse, when Mason dialed the same number only for his associate Paul Drake to exclaim that it belonged to the police headquarters. The thread unraveled further in the case of the bullet bowler, as Joe Kelly slipped Drake a new number at 171 euros 2199 AEU are leading to Drake's bemusing declaration. That's Perry's number. This curious telephonic dance added an unexpected layer to the show's intrigue leaving audiences questioning whether it was a mere oversight or a deliberate quirk. Each number shift amplified the enigma, underscoring the meticulous attention fans paid to every detail, no matter how minor. This anomaly's revelation underscores the deep engagement of viewers with the series, akin to detectives unraveling a perplexing case. Each twist of the dial, each number uttered, became a piece of the larger puzzle that was Perry Mason. From court proceedings to covert calls, the show delivered not just legal drama, but an unexpected phone number saga that resonated through its episodes. As we continue to explore the annals of television history, it's these idiosyncratic quirks that remind us of the magic woven into the fabric of classic shows. The peculiar phone number mystery of Perry Mason remains a testament to the dedicated audience's enduring fascination with the smallest details, a testament to the show's enduring legacy. Perry Mason's surprising casting twist and smoking-related tragedy in a serendipitous turn of events that would forever shape television history, Raymond Burr, known for his commanding presence, had initially auditioned for the supporting role of Hamilton Berger in the 1957 TV series Perry Mason. However, the casting gods had different plans. Burr's undeniable charisma and captivating aura led to a pivotal decision that altered the course of the show. He was cast not as the prosecution's legal powerhouse, Berger, but as the eponymous defense attorney, Perry Mason himself. 
This casting coup proved to be a masterstroke, as Burr's portrayal of Mason became synonymous with the show's success, anchoring the series for its impressive nine-year run. Yet, behind the scenes lay a grim reminder of the era's ignorance regarding the dangers of smoking. Tragedy struck with eerie coincidence as all three principal supporting actors on the show met their untimely demise due to smoking-related pulmonary diseases. Ray Collins, who brought irreplaceable gravitas to the character of Lieutenant Arthur Tragic, succumbed to emphysema. William Talman, the embodiment of the relentless Hamilton Burger, fell victim to lung cancer. William Hopper, who portrayed Paul Drake with a magnetic charm, passed away from pneumonia following a stroke attributed to his smoking habit. This haunting correlation between their roles and their real-life fate serves as a stark reminder of the risks unheeded during that era. Amidst the drama and legal intrigue, an astute viewer might have noticed an unobtrusive yet clever touch of product placement during the closing credits of select episodes in the 1957 season. These artifacts of television history took the form of small octagonal images, showcasing everyday products like dishwashing soap. While they might seem quaint today, they offer a glimpse into the nascent stages of advertising integration in television. Remarkably, these subtle nods to consumerism have been preserved, finding their way onto the DVD versions of the show, a testament to the evolving nature of television and marketing. As we reflect on the enigmatic legacy of the 1957 TV series Perry Mason, we are reminded that its impact stretches beyond its compelling courtroom narratives. With a twist of fate in casting decisions, a tragic reminder of smoking's toll, and an early experiment in product placement, the show captures the essence of its era in ways both expected and unexpected. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Perry Mason, let the echoes of courtroom drama and moral dilemmas reverberate within you. Like a vintage timepiece, the 1957 TV series has intricately woven itself into the fabric of entertainment history, leaving an indelible mark on hearts and minds. DYC, as you take a moment to reflect on your own personal journey with Perry Mason, perhaps you find yourself transported to a time when black and white screens painted the hues of imagination. Was it the suspenseful unraveling of a perplexing case that kept you on the edge of your seat? Or maybe the charismatic prowess of Raymond Burr as Perry Mason himself, an embodiment of justice and intellect that left an indelible impression? Did you find yourself playing armchair detective, piecing together clues and concocting theories alongside Mason and his brilliant team? Or was it the ethical quandaries and the clash of truth and deception that stirred your contemplative soul? Whether it was the riveting courtroom showdowns, the labyrinthine narratives, or the timeless elegance of the era, Harry Mason's legacy resonates through the corridors of time, reminding us of the power of storytelling to captivate, inspire, and provoke introspection. As you close this chapter, let your thoughts unfurl like pages of a vintage novel. We invite you to share your treasured memories, your reflections, and your insights, for every perspective enriches the tapestry of appreciation for this iconic series. Your unique connection with Perry Mason is a testament to the show's enduring charm, and your voice adds to the chorus of fans who continue to find solace, intrigue, and joy in its episodes. Thank you for embarking on this journey through memory lane, for sharing your thoughts, and for being a part of the ever-growing legacy of Perry Mason. Until we meet again in the halls of classic television, keep the spirit of justice alive and the love for storytelling burning bright. Dio a warm regards, your name.